In today's video, we're gonna take you on a tour of our listing located in Mountain View Estates in Hurricane, Utah. This home is about 60 days out from completion, which means you still have the opportunity to select some of the finishes. Let's go check it out. It's a pretty, uh pretty challenging task to navigate through this, but this front landscaping of this home is actually gonna be really cool because it's gonna be tiered right here. We'll tell you guys a little bit more about that. I know that some of you are probably wondering, but it actually is a really cool feature that adds to the privacy of the front of this property. And there's going to be a large patio right here. It's gonna be, in, well, it's gonna have a little wall, right? Like a yeah. little courtyard. A courtyard. It's a courtyard that um, goes into this bedroom through these glass sliding doors. Okay, we'll go. Here's the entryway. Beautiful door, frosted glass. Come on in. Very grand entry, which I love. And then there is another big window above that door that and there's a lot of windows. So there's a lot of natural light coming into this home, which is awesome. So we've got we've got another big window above that glass sliding door. Let me turn trade places with you so I could show these guys. Okay. And real quick, folks, we realize that this isn't an ideal tour, but part of the reason why we want to show you guys these videos because we feel that this builder really takes pride in what she does and we want to give you an opportunity to take a peek behind the curtain a little bit and see the home through various stages of its build when you go to the property page you will see series of these videos of this home being built from practically from ground up oh and then we're going to be shooting a tour that has an identical floor plan that's completely finished so that, stay tuned for that video. We're gonna, that video is gonna be released pretty soon and that'll give you kind of a better idea of what the finished look is gonna be on this home. As we enter this home, the first thing that catches our eyes are the massive windows that allow for lots of natural light. The next thing you see is an oversized center island, beautiful naughty alder cabinets and unique backsplash. This kitchen is very functional and offers a large prep area, five burner gas cooktop, and stainless steel wall appliances. I love the additional counter space and cabinets inside the pantry. It is a perfect place for small kitchen appliances. The living room fireplace matches this home perfectly and sets a cozy atmosphere, even though it doesn't get cold here often. Follow me to the primary suite it is very spacious and has three large windows that open to the backyard. Let's talk about the primary bath. Check out these modern backlit mirrors with three color temperatures above the dual vanity, large soaking tub, and massive shower with dual shower heads. What I really love about this floor plan is the primary bath connects to the primary dressing and to the laundry room. All three of the guest bedrooms are located on the front of the property all the bedrooms have large closets and big windows that let in lots of natural light. This bedroom has three doors. It can be used as an office. It has incredibly tall ceilings and a sliding door to the exterior. Guest bath is right off the main hallway, features a large vanity and shower tub combo. I absolutely love the wavy texture of this tile. Let's check out the garage. This property features an oversized two-car garage as well as an extra deep RV garage. This man door takes you into the backyard. I'm curious, what would you park here? You could easily park six cars or something that requires really tall ceilings. Um, we'll get into these bedrooms in a minute. Well, let's start um, with the family room and kitchen and then we'll, we'll get to there. So, um, I personally am a huge fan of open floor plans. 
Um, I don't like it really like choppy. So this home has got a really beautiful open floor plan. So we're in the family room. It's got the tray ceilings, nice large windows so that, and you don't have anyone. It's a pretty steep drop off behind this lot. It's about 18 feet. Yeah. So this is kind of you, what you can expect for your views. Um, so this view will probably never be blocked. There's farmland directly behind this property and about 18 feet had to be retained on the back side, uh, which added substantially to some of the costs with excavating. But this property is actually priced really well for what it is. And if you guys want to learn more about that, there is a link to the full property website directly below. You can see Zion in the distance. Which actually can cool. yeah i'll fucking punch into this but yeah it's right out of there okay and then we've got the dining area right here with another large window we're in the kitchen which is massive the center island's going to be right here the hood and range is going to be right here and then you've got a large pantry I'm just going to stand in here to show you how big it is. Behind the sticks. Behind the sticks, which, I mean, this is, when it's all said and done, I mean, this is a massive pantry. And we do have a version of this floor plan that's pretty much finished. It's ready for a walkthrough, so stay tuned for a video that's coming within a day or two. That floor plan is virtually identical on the inside, so the interior of this home will be pretty much that. Uh, but the exterior is wildly different. Okay, and then this is going to take you into the garage. Here's the mudroom area. And then off to the side, we have a powder bath. It's a little bit dark in here. Okay, and then we'll just check out the garage before we go to the rest. So we are in the two car garage right here, which um, this builder insulates her garages, which a lot of builders don't. And so that's a huge plus. This blow in insulation at the top. Uh, every, every single wall is insulated. Especially if you've got a massive RV garage that you might want to fill with toys and work on projects, then it's nice when you're out here, you know, summer, winter, any time, it's nice to have an insulated garage so that you're not either getting too hot or too cold. Well, and it's a lot of square footage that also keeps the temperature of the rest of the house, too. That's true. How deep is this garage? Um, you know what? I have a set of plans attached to the property website so you guys could get the exact dimensions. I believe the garage Let's see. is 45 feet deep. I could be wrong just recalling it from my memory right now. Yeah. I don't think you can zoom in far enough on no, the MLS on little, your phone. It's a little blurry, but yeah, we will link it. Well, I'll give you guys a perspective. If you're Michonne size, you could fit a small army of you here. <laughs> uh, but as always, we're curious to know what would you guys park in here? How many Michons will this garage fit? <laughs> Stacked up. And then we've got a man door back there that goes to the back patio. We'll pop out here for a second and we'll tell you guys a bit more about that in just a moment. Let's All right. go back inside the house. We're gonna go check out the bedrooms first. And take a look at, I don't know if the camera gives a good perspective, but take a look at your views this way. So from your garage, you get views to the north of beautiful Pine Valley Mountain. It's covered it, just a little bit by the clouds. Yeah, you get just the, the tip of it is hidden in the clouds. And usually right around this time of the year, you see a little bit of a snow cover on the top, but high is 66 degrees in St. George today and in Hurricane. And I'm not at all complaining about that. Nope. Okay, and then we'll go check out the master bedroom. It's got its own little hallway leading to the bedroom. It's a pretty spacious hallway. Pretty spacious. Good sized bedroom. And again, a tray ceiling in here. Nice large windows. 
it's like it's nice to have both of us in the videos because it gives you perspective of how what you could fit how big it is you put it's, your bed it's... here nightstands you can put your bed right here tv it'll comfortably views. fit yeah i would imagine you would probably want to put your bed yeah. on either this wall or that wall because the bed's that's usually all views. right when you walk into the room it's like the centerpiece so it'd probably be right here with nightstands you've got your views okay let's check out the bathroom we've got a two sinks on the vanity right here we've got a standalone bathtub right here and then walk-in shower the little window and a nice privacy privacy window right here it's frosted look at the size of this shower yeah it's very massive yeah like really good size i can't wait to show you guys some of the finishes and as michon had mentioned earlier at this stage there's still quite a few finishes that you could select if you wanted to purchase this home this home is for sale um, so the sooner you jump in the more options you'll have water closet that you could control An another little hallway leading into the walk-in closet which and this closet is massive yes huge and it's a little tough to tell what you're looking at if you're just looking at the framing but you can follow along if you open up the plans one of my favorite features about this home is that the laundry room sometimes it's usually located off the garage or you know not necessary it's in this home on this plan it is surrounded by all the bedrooms so you can go from the walk master walk-in closet into the laundry room it's attached there's a pass through <laughs> there's a door yeah there's a door and then you've got your washer and dryer right here and then you've got another pass through that leads into the rest of the bedrooms in the home and you can access it from both sides and take note the dryer can be either gas or electric depending on your preference okay trying to see what will make the most sense i'm just going to step back here this is the entryway from the front door that we came into and we've got a full bathroom right here got a linen closet right here the sink toilet shower tub combo Okay, and then this bedroom right off the front door can be used as a bedroom, an office, a den. It does have two ac access ways to get into it. It's got so you, three, actually. That's true. So you've got, from this hallway, you've got your French doors that you can come into it from, and then the glass sliding door that leads into the courtyard. This is the only closet in the house that's not a walk-in closet, but it's it's probably just as big when you compare it's quite spacious yeah, yeah. so it it'll double doors on it yeah double doors good size closet and look at the ceiling height in this room yeah it matches the the entryway and i so, and that's what i was saying i love that huge window above the glass sliding door it just the more light you can let in in my opinion the better because you, you can always cover it up if you need to but i don't like having lights on in the day and i like as much natural light as possible that's beautiful Okay, so then we have a another bedroom right here that faces the front of the property, has two windows, and a walk-in closet, which again is a good size, good size closet. Okay, and then our last bedroom. also very spacious and then has another walk-in closet right here i'll trade places with you that's a good size closet yeah did we cover most of it let's go check so. out the backyard and we'll show you probably one of my next favorite things besides the laundry way access is is the rooftop deck i wish i had one and as we as we mentioned earlier this this particular home is about 60 days out from completion 
but we do have a plan that we'll show you in our next video that is very, very similar to it. So the interior is literally identical and I can't wait to show you guys that because it'll give you a better perspective on what this home will look like. Take a step out here just to give them perspective of how huge this patio, this covered patio is. Because so I'd imagine you'd spend quite a bit of time out here with these views, but it is huge. All the exterior of this home is going to have really, really good looking modern blinds. And then you've got your man door to your RV garage right there. I mean, I don't think you'd need much more, more space than this. And then there is going to be a spiral staircase right here. And then there is a huge deck up there to Maybe you could it your expands hot across that entire patio on the yeah. upper level. Well, tell us in the comments, what would you do with a rooftop deck like that? Would you put a hot tub in it? Would you put lounge chairs and tan up there? Like, it'd be awesome. It's a really awesome home for entertainment with the open floor plan, the huge dining area, the covered patio, the rooftop deck. You can have friends and family hanging out all over the place and check out the size of this lot it's a 0.4 acre lot yeah 0.4 but it's hard to get perspective of just how big that is so you go to that corner and i'm going to go to the corner of the garage now personally what i think anybody that has kids if you have a deck up there and potentially a pool somewhere over here That'd be a perfect spot to jump off into that pool. Perfect spot to break your legs. Yeah, that too. <laughs> I would be dying if my kids were jumping off the roof into the pool. But the Let second me show these guys uh, how how big of a difference there is in grade behind this home. So that's that parcel is owned as farmland currently, and there is literally an 18 foot drop off the rear wall. So if this does ever become developed, you're pretty much going to tower over whatever is built down there. So there's no real fear of ever losing these views. And to the north, you've got Pine Valley Mountain. And then we've got another listing just right down the street that we're going to shoot another update. We want to keep updating with every stage of these homes in case this is your potential future dream home that you can see all the stages that the home went through and maybe could snag it while, you know, there's still an opportunity to make selections of your own and make it your own touch. And then also the video of the completed look of this floor plan will be coming in the next couple days. So stay tuned and thank you for joining us and Merry Christmas and have an amazing weekend. Thanks guys. And as always, all the info about this listing is in the comments below. If you have any questions or if you'd like to find out what it would take to get the ball rolling on purchase of this incredible home, reach out to us. We sure would love to take care of you.